Welcome back, ladies and gents, boys and girls, to Football Collectibles South Coast YouTube channel. And today we've got something a little bit different from us. Um, so if you follow us on Instagram, you'll see that we've been um, kind of on the side getting some of the more deluxe cards. Uh, obviously from the Chronicles opening we did um, from Panini uh, a couple of weeks ago, you would have seen we pulled the Fatty and the uh, Mason Greenwood rookie tickets from there. Um, so that's kind of ignited a passion in me to get some of these cards, some of these... Uh, cards that potentially worth quite a lot of money. Some of the the fatty and the greenwood cards, um, you know, going for over a hundred pounds. Um, ones that aren't graded, graded ones, two, three hundred pounds, that sort of thing. Um, so looking at kind of investing in some of these cards, uh, rookie cards mainly that potentially are going to be worth something in uh, you know years to come. You know, you're looking at potential future Messi's, Ronaldo's, and things like that. So I'm just going to quickly go through uh, what we've got. Um, so far uh, and again just to sort of see uh, and, and again in the comments let us know what you guys have got and everything like that let us know what you think of these cards um, again I know it doesn't appeal to everybody um, you know but I'm kind of looking at uh, some of our other viewers as, as, as well that do collect these and everything like that so yeah we'll, we'll get into these let's see where we get So just before we get into these guys, I just thought I'd mention, uh, again, not sponsored or anything like that, but Ultra Pro um, are probably the market leader in kind of car protection and stuff like that. So I picked this up off eBay. Uh, it's kind of a, a top loader box, so it comes with the top loaders as well as um, some of the penny sleeves. Um, so let's get all the ones we've got out. Um, so yeah, they are the kind of market leader in in kind of the you know protection of some of your higher end cards if you've got them um obviously you know most of the match attacks kind of stuff um yes they are some of the rookie cards but i think when the the kind of bigger collections of the rookie card sort of logo do come out um that they kind of don't they kind of devalue really so again the kind of main sets are your tops crystal tops chrome uh panini chronicles um Things like that and the museum sets, um, you know, your mega cracks from Spain, all those kind of higher end um, things that are produced, really. Uh, so we're just going to quickly go through what we've what we've kind of collected uh, again, very early stages uh, in my collection. Um, so this is uh, one from the Tops Crystal set. So this is Dominic Zobersly uh, for FC Salzburg. So again, um, predicted to be quite an up and coming young talent. Uh, so again, it's one I picked up. I had the chrome, uh, the crystal set. Uh, he, he was a swap. Obviously, I've got a second one in the set. Um, but again, I don't want to really take that out of the set. So that's my first one. Uh, second one from the Tops Crystal is David Nerez uh, from uh, Ajax. Again, I picked this one out from our uh, the mystery pack, really. We got off eBay. Uh, this came in that. So again, uh, a nice one to get. Up and coming young player from Brazil. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how... You know, it's all about how these guys develop really in the future is how much uh, these cards are going to be worth. But obviously keeping them in the best condition possible as well um, so they don't get damaged. Obviously, if you are going to send these off to get graded, um, if they are damaged or anything on the corners, then obviously that devalues and uh, the, the grade and everything like that. So we've got Timo Werner from Top's Finest. I believe this was from 1819 or 1920 season. Um I can't remember, yeah, 1920 season, I believe it was. Um, so this is obviously when he was at RB Leipzig. So again, an earlier one. It's not his rookie card, but it is an earlier card of his. Uh, so again, got it quite cheap on eBay, really, for that one. Uh, another one from the top's finest is uh, Vinicius Junior of Real Madrid. So again, they, they are good-looking cards. Uh, ignore the scratches on that. That's on the top loader, not on the actual card. Um, so the top loaders are in there and then they're actually in a penny sleeve inside the top loader as well, just for a bit of further protection. Uh, and we've also, from another top's finest, we've got Kai Havertz as well. Again, uh, when he was at Leverkusen, uh, again from the 1920 season before he obviously joined Chelsea. So again, not his rookie card, uh, but again, just one um, that I think potentially could be worth a bit of money. Uh, Giovanni Reynas, this is from the uh, Borussia Dortmund curated set from Tops. Uh, so again, up and coming youngster uh, of um, you were from the USA. Uh, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see uh, how his career develops in the future uh, and whether or not 
he's worth a bit of money. Again, it, I think it is a rookie card, but it's not got the rookie card logo. Uh, but I think it was one of the first cards. But obviously since then, there has been a few um, Tops Now and um, Tops Living sort of rookie cards with a rookie card logo on as well. Uh, which leads us nicely onto one of the Tops Now uh, rookie cards. It's got the rookie card logo on it. Uh, so again, so this is Jude Bellingham, youngest English player in the UEFA Champions League history. Uh, to obviously start when he started the other week. And again, these cards are lush. The tops logo in like a holographic effect all the way through the back of that. Look, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, and the cards are really good as well. Obviously, these are, you know, classed as a rookie card. But then potentially when, uh, you know, tops release. Obviously, Bellingham's got a card in the uh, top summer signing set, which is, again, would, would be classed as a rookie card. Um, so that one may be worth more uh, than this one. So normally these do come out and they are quite... I think these are going for sort of, you know, you pick these up on, when they first come out for about a fiver. Uh, I think they're going for on eBay now for like 30, 30 pounds, 35 pounds. Excuse me. Uh, things like that. I had onions for lunch. It's terrible. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, so potentially worth a bit of money now. But then obviously when the other cards come out, maybe it does devalue it a little bit. Similarly, uh, with the Tops Living set. Uh, as these are, so again, Jude Bellingham, we got seven of these. Uh, I did only order five, but I got seven, so I'm not complaining. Um, so tops, yeah, uh, happy with a, a little error there, but happy days. Uh, so again, rookie cards, so again, but these could be, uh, again, are going for a, a little bit more money than they were uh, originally. Um, I think we picked up all these uh, for about £18, I think they were. Uh, but again, I think individually these cards are going for around about £15, £16 pound now uh, on eBay. So, you know, potentially a decent amount of money there if we do sell them. But obviously we're going to hold on to them. These are, I love the living sets. The, 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 the Whoever draws these is a pff, stunning artist, really. They're, they're very talented. Um, and everything like that. We've got a Rodri. Uh, one of these coming, and again, we ordered five of those. They're on their way, so these will be going in. Uh, then we come on to some of the stickers we've got. So, again, not uh, rookie sort of stickers, but again, um, as kind of close as, as we're going to get, really. So, there's Panini, uh, Calvert Lewin. So, we've got two of those. Again, potentially looking at, I don't know what I'm going to get graded yet, I haven't decided, but we are potentially looking at getting some of these stuff graded. Uh, and we've also got Dominic Calvert Lewin's Prism. Uh, Panini Prism card from the last year, last season's 2019-20 Prism from Panini. So again, picked that up off eBay. I only paid about eight quid for that. And I think, again, I've seen them going for now about 20, 30 pounds uh, after his recent uh, good form. Uh, so yeah, and then we've got to Mason Greenwood. So for Mason Greenwood, we've got three of his um, stickers. Now these are classed as rookie stickers. Obviously he didn't have anything before this. Um, so they are his, his rookie sticker. Uh, again, Going for silly money, really, when you think about it. It's just a sticker. Again, I'm not sure if you can still pick these up from Panini. I think they were selling them for about 60p a sticker. Um, so, you know, you could have got quite a few and very easily made a lot of money there. Uh, and also the, the kind of holy grail, really, of our collection, uh, as well as the fatty uh, sort of rookie ticket, is this Mason Greenwood rookie ticket from our recent Panini Chronicles opening. Um <laughs> Unbelievable to get both of these rookie tickets in one opening from one cello pack. Uh, seeing some of the box breaks that are getting done on uh, Instagram and stuff like that. They're not getting cards like this. So we was very, very lucky with that one. Uh, so, yeah. But again, these are going for strange amounts of money. Obviously, you've got the rookie card logo in the top left, uh, top right there. Uh, uh, back to tops now. So this is our Pedri. Uh, that was it. Sorry, not Rodri. Uh, Pedri. Uh, living set we've got coming as well, five of those. Uh, obviously, when he scored his first uh, Champions League goal on debut. Uh, and again, so again, potentially worth a bit of money. Again, I think individually these are going for £15, £20 pounds now. Um, a lot of people have said because it's got Messi in the picture as well, uh, this one could be kind of one to hold on to for future. Uh, just because it's kind of seen as, you know, passing the baton on. Obviously, Messi's potentially going to leave at the end of this season. So, uh, having those two players in one card has potentially made this more valuable, apparently. So, again, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, so, here's our other rookie ticket that we got, our fatty rookie ticket, and two fatty. Obviously, out injured now, which has seen his price decrease a little bit on eBay uh, on these. 
Again, I think if we do get any cards graded, it's probably going to be these two rookie cards um, to start off with uh, through PSA, more than likely, uh, with graded gem sort of acting as the UK uh, conduit for that. Again, I'll leave a description, a link in the description down to graded gem. Uh, if you don't know who they are, do check them out, guys. Uh, they're an awesome service. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and finally, uh, we've got two rookie cards of Axel Twanzebi from the uh, Panini Prism 2019-2020 uh, uh, collection as well. Um, obviously, doesn't get much, hasn't been getting much game time at United, but I think his performance in the Champions League against PSG was unreal. Um, defensively, he was outstanding that game. Uh, couldn't really fault him. Uh, and he's, he's, this is his rookie card as well, so... Again, potentially one to hold on to. I think I got both of these for like eight pounds on eBay, so an absolute steal potentially for the future. Um, but yeah, be interested to see. Um, so yeah, that's it really for now. Again, we've got a few more coming. Um, as I said, the tops summer signing set will probably go into this kind of collection, especially if you get one with a signature on. That'll be amazing. Uh, signed Bellingham, signed anyone really. Um, kind of doubles the prices on these cards. But yeah, that'll kind of go into this. Uh, we've got a couple of Pedris coming. Um, what else have we got? We missed, didn't get the upper Meccano ones. Uh, so yeah, we've got more coming. But again, I'll do a future video on probably those openings in the future. Uh, but let us know what you think of these guys. Obviously, if you, you know, I know this isn't for everybody, um, but I just thought I'd share this kind of other collection uh, as, as well as obviously the normal match attacks, Panini stuff that we are doing as well on a more regular basis. Uh, but let us know what you think of these cards, guys, down in the comments. Uh, and if you want to see more of this, then I'll definitely do that in the future as well. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Uh, as I said, I'll leave one to grade a gem if you're wondering what sort of card grading is, is, is all about. Uh, our Instagram page as well. Don't forget to check us out on there. Uh, and to the, uh, I'll leave Panini and Tops websites as well, uh, as they're kind of all incorporated into this opening. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for taking the time out, guys. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. It really boosts our kind of rating, search rating with YouTube as well. So do smash that like button. Um, until the next one, guys. Cheers.